Hey everyone, this is Greg Savage from MachineMasters.com. Today I'm going to show you a technique that is used both in sound design and scoring. The reason why I'm showing you this is because I'm currently working on a bunch of NBA and NFL playoff music cues, and I figured I would walk you through the process, kind of killing two birds with one stone. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is make sure your DAW can handle video. Once that's established, load your video and start trying to find a tempo for your video. I do this by using the metronome. And what I'm looking for is key moments in the video that land on the, on the metronome ticks or taps or whatever you want to call them on the beats, on the meter. It's like the crossover when he releases his shot, when it goes in, somebody gets fouled, things like that. 120 is a little too fast, so I'm lowering it. Let's try 97. Now this is where things are going to get a little tricky. I tend to have my MIDI controller uh, mapped to the DAW, so all the little knobs in the transport, they all do something like rewinding and scrubbing, play record, etc. So if you see things getting jumpy, it's because I'm using my controller. And what I'm doing here is I'm adding markers at key moments of the video. Again, mainly just the crossovers. Oh, I missed that one. Missed it again. I'm just going to go back to this uh, Derek Rose clip and make sure that I have the markers as close as possible because I think I'm going to uh, build the theme of the track uh, based on here. Zoom in. And actually what I'll start doing is naming these markers that I've added. Go ahead and copy that. Hit OK. Go to the next one. Just paste it. All right. So that's the first part of this video, and it's what it's called is spotting, is where you go through the video, you're finding the tempo, you're laying your markers, and then you're naming your markers. In the next video, we're going to go through sound selection and then eventually be putting together a track. So um, I hope this was beneficial to you. If not, sorry. Uh, again, uh, leave comments in the comment section below. If you have suggestions on videos, please leave those in the comment section below as well, and I will see you guys next week.